Hi guys! I'm Nathan's mom and welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to share our Big Bad Wolf book sale haul. So last July 2018, Big Bad Wolf came to Cebu and they had like a few days of a book sale. It was really crazy. Um, there were really great discounts, great books, and we kind of bought a lot of books. So I'm going to show it to you. I'm also going to link down on the description box our Big Bad Wolf preview sale experience as well as a complete list of all the items along with its prices on the description box below. So I'm just going to show you some of the books that we um, bought. So first we have this um, C.S. Lewis, um, The Chronicles of Narnia Said. Um, we bought this for 1150 So it already has seven books. So it has um, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, the Voyage of the Dawn Shredder, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. So this is the complete set. Uh, we also have the, the Maze Runners series. It's still unopened. So we got this for 970 pesos. It has all the five books. So it has The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, The Kill Order, and The Fever Code. So what happened actually during the sale is we actually got a lot of books in our cart um, and also a lot of series. We actually missed the Percy Jackson um, series um, because um, during the preview day sale, um, morning pa lang wala na, ubus na, a lot of people were already getting it and we weren't able to grab one. So we only got this set. So I also have the Paolo Coelho set. So we got this for um, I think 1700 or 1900 Um I'll probably just post the price somewhere. Um, if I don't get it right. So it has the alchemist, um, Veronica decides to die, the Zahir, the Valkyries, the witch of Portobello, the pilgrimage, by the river Piedra I sat down and wept, um, 11 minutes, the Devon and Miss Prem, the fifth mountain. So um, I actually like the alchemist, Veronica decides to die, and 11 minutes. I haven't read the others, but I'm really excited to read them. One um, Paolo Coelho book that I also like is Aleph. Um, I did not see this on the Big Bad Wolf sale, but I actually bought this. I think I got this from Fully Book, so this is also really good. I also got a bunch of cookbooks, so since I'm... I just started learning how to cook and I'm really enjoying, you know, cooking. So I actually got a few um, cookbooks. So um, I have this. Um, I really like Japanese food. So I got the Japanese um, recipes. These are 70 classic Japanese recipes. I got this for 160 pesos. It's not yet open. So I haven't um, used this yet. And I also have my Asian kitchen and I got this for 480 pesos. It's really good. It has like all Asian um, recipes, uh, Malaysian, Japanese, um, Chinese, Vietnamese and 
really just you know um popular um asian um asian um dishes which i really can't wait to try so i will definitely um put out a different video of you know trying out the recipes that are in this um cookbook or the cookbooks that i bought and i also have itsu the cookbook it, i got this for 350 pesos these are 100 low calorie um healthy recipes which i like most of it are i think are japanese recipes so i also can't wait to try this one out and i also have this this is actually like a dual book um this part is like Rachel Ray and the next one is John Cusimano. I don't know how to pronounce his name Cusimano or Cusimano um, Recipe so um, half of this is his recipes. These are like cocktail drinks and you know Rachel Ray I'm sure you know Rachel Ray. So these are her recipes. I think these are like um, um, 360 five meals so um 365 dishes that's like for every day of each year so it says you know my year in meals those are for my you know cookbooks i also got i also got harry potter stuff so um i i'm a huge harry potter fan there was no harry potter like the the canon harry potter book um set on the big bad wolf set but they did have the cursed child um, this cursed child is not from the Big Bad Wolf sale. I actually um, had this um, when when it was released, so I, this was actually pre-ordered. But they had it there for uh, I think for only five hundred plus pesos because this one I got for a thousand plus, and the one on the Big Bad Wolf sale was only for like five hundred pesos. So I I think it was really on like fifty percent off. So Harry Potter stuff that I bought is this. I got a Harry Potter coloring book. I got this for 230 pesos. I, I actually haven't started yet because I'm scared <laughs> that I might ruin it when I start to color it. I'm not very artsy artsy but you know I really like Harry Potter. Harry Potter so I want to try this one out. So there's already a color guide here. Ones with the actual colors. So that you have something to follow and i also got this um coloring booklet which i got for 350 pesos so i ha also haven't opened this one yet so it is a 48 page coloring booklet and it also has like a special build it yourself 3d fire bolt and also 48 colorable gift tags with string so this is the fire bolt that you can build and the tags so i'll try this out next time i'm still not sure when i'm gonna open this i just want to keep it and display it actually so i'm just gonna show you my harry potter set but it's not from the big bad wolf sale i just want to show it to you so this one is from Japan. This one from Big Bad Wolf Sale. This was actually a gift from my husband. And then this one we got from the Toy Machine Cebu. I will put down a link below if you want to check out. They really have cool toys for really affordable prices. They don't have Harry and Hermione. And I didn't want to, uh, you know, buy the the new one because it's expensive i think i only got this for 50 pesos each um i'm not sure but you know you can check out their page this is actually a calligraphy pen and i have harry potter and the cursed child here i got a harry potter um deck of cards and my new game cards against muggles i will put out a video unboxing this and we can also try this out so that's my mini harry potter collection now i'm gonna go back to um some of the items that we bought what else did we get um these are from my husband <laughs> my husband's haul during the big bad wolf sale he actually got this um nostradamus book by stefan gerson or gerson i'm not sure how to pronounce the name so 
It's a book about Nostradamus. There's actually no like description, no cover at all. But you know, he is intrigued by Nostradamus, so he said he just wanted to read it. So um, I forgot how much we bought this for, but I think this was only for like a hundred seventy-five. And my husband also got this Commandos and Commandos and Rangers D-Day Operations by Team Saunders, Tim Saunders. So we we got this for 350 pesos. So my husband also got at the heart of how do you pronounce this right reach um, the secret the secret diary of Hitler's army adjutant so we got this for um, let me just check we got this for 230 pesos so this is by major Gerard I'll get you I don't know how to pronounce it angle angel or thing so and then we also have the assassination complex by Jeremy I also don't know how to pronounce his name I'm so sorry I'm not sure about the price I don't have the list but I think we got this for about either 175 or 230 pesos And then we also have here another one, the third, the third Reich or Reich. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but this is the rise and fall of the Nazis, seen from the viewpoint of ordinary Germans. This is ri written by Martin Whitcock. Um, we got this for 230 pesos. So this is also from my husband's book haul. So most of it are really like war books. And he also got this one, the killing. Oh, sorry, he also got this one, the killing of Osama bin Laden. Um, we also got this for I think two hundred thirty pesos. So this is by Seymour Hirsch. And he also got this one, um, how we invented freedom and why it matters by Dan Daniel Hennon. So this one we got for this one we got for 350 pesos. He also had like the Snowden files. Um, this is by Luke Harding. We got this for 190 pesos. And he also had um, the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mademoiselle Odile. Um, this is by James Rees. Um, we got this for I think 190 pesos. And then we also have John Grisham's The Firm. Um, we got this for 190 pesos. And we also have The Art of War by Sun Tzu. So we actually got this also for 190. Uh, no, we got this for 160 pesos. And it's really nice. The cover is so smooth. And the pages really look good. They don't look uh, like a uh, cheap. Um, it's really it's really a nice print. And it's only for 160. So what else did we get? Now I think for my haul, I actually got this um, Overcoming Asthma. Um, this is by Dr. Sarah Brewer. It's actually a good read. I got this only for 190 pesos. And then I also have I Am Malala. I haven't read this yet, but this is by um, Malala herself with Patricia McCormick we got this for for 230 pesos 
And then I also have Reading the Starbucks Way. This is actually a good read. This is about, you know, um, the five principles for connecting with your customers, your products, and your people. Um, this is about a guy who really like studied the strategies of Starbucks and how they became successful. This is by Joseph. A. I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but is it Michelle? We got this for 290 pesos. And I also have Harper Lee's Go Set a Watchman. Um, I got this for 190 pesos. And I actually have Jojo Meyer's two books. So this is the me before you, the one that turned into a movie with Khaleesi. <laughs> So this one I got for 160 pesos and I also have the next one. Um, this is After You Still by Jojo Moy uh, Moyes. Moyes? How do you pronounce him? Jojo Moyes? Moyes? So this one we got for 290 pesos because it's bigger and this one's hardbound. This one's like paper background. I also got Meg Cabot's The Boy Is Back. So I actually... <gasps> I wasn't really so sure. Um, it turns out that this is like the fourth book. So I have to get like the three books before this one. So I can read this. I didn't know that it was a series. I thought it was just like a standalone book. So this is actually from... Um, what's the name of the series? I think it was... So this is actually from the boy series. Um, we all know Meg Cabot from the Princess Diaries. I actually read also way back in high school. I think the All American Girl um, book. Um, so that's why I actually grabbed this because you know it's Meg Cabot. But I didn't know that this was part of a series. So I actually have to go and look for the three books ahead of this one because this one is the fourth one. So I got this for I got this for two hundred thirty pesos. So what else? Did I miss something from this corner? I think not. We can move on to the next corner. I also got the girl on the train. So this one I got from for 190 pesos. I want to watch the movie but I don't want to watch it yet. I want to read it first. Um, this is by Paula Hawkins. What else? Um, I got Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. So I also got this for 190 pesos. So I also got Mitch Albums, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. I've actually read this um, before, but I just want to get this um, because, you know, I want um, Nathan to read this when he grows up. So. As much as I'm practicing like minimalism and I didn't really want to acquire a lot of stuff, growing up, I really liked books and before, okay, wala pa budget, so I didn't really have like the money to buy the books that I wanted. I usually just borrow books if I want to read it or I try to get like or search it online if there's like a PDF version, like a free version. So I think that's why um, right now I want to, you know, build myself a mini library because I know it won't just be for me but it also it's also for Nathan. I want him to read a lot of books. I want him to enjoy it, you know, as much as I did, you know, growing up. I also got um the girl who kicked the hornet's nest. So um I only got the third book because I already have the first and second one. Um I got this so I have the first and second one. I got this. I think the, this one I got in National Bookstore. This one I got in Fully Book. So I think that's just it for this corner. Now let's go to Nathan's um, books. Nathan actually enjoyed the Big Bad Wolf sale. We went there three times. Um, the preview sale and then two other days. I think the the third time we went there was sort of like their last day. And you know, Nathan really enjoyed. He actually 
put a lot of things on his card but we didn't buy all of it because you know budgeting is hard so it had to fit our budget and we actually saved for it ever since um, I heard that Big Bad Wolf sale was gonna go to Cebu I actually like told my husband that we're definitely gonna go there we were gonna set a budget we actually saved up for it to make sure that we get you know as much books as we can although I still wanted to buy more but I didn't want to go beyond our budget so now we're in Nathan's corner there's actually you know bookshelves beside his bed I'll just show it to you so most of it um, are are either gifts or the ones that we got from the Big Bad Wolf sale. He's got all his um, bedtime stories here. These are actually all gifts. Um, so these are actually one, two, three, four. This is also, he has like a Mickey Mouse set. And then the ones that we got from the Big Bad Wolf sale is this one. This is actually really nice. This is like a time chart of biblical history. This is so big. I'll try to show it to you guys. So this one is actually really big. Look. And when it opens, it it's like a huge pull out book with the, like the complete timeline. So this is something that I want Nathan to read and enjoy and he actually likes looking at the graphics. He he can't understand yet like the full details of the time chart, but hopefully this is something that he will enjoy reading once he grows up. So one um bedtime story that we got from the book sale is this one this is like disney um disney stories it has big hero six mickey mouse stories um the one that he really likes this one is from the big hero six and also the peter pan story so these are bedtime favorites so it has tangled disney bunnies monsters inc big hero six the little mermaid wreck it ralph toy story winnie the pooh Lady and the Tramp, Peter Pan, Finding Nemo, Up, Sleeping Beauty, The Lion King, 101 Dalmatians, The Jungle Book, Mickey and Friends, and Bambi. So this is one of Nathan's favorite uh, bedtime stories. He really likes um, bedtime stories, even if it's not uh, bedtime. So we also got this one. This is the Guardian Hero, um, Big Hero 6 um, book. This actually has like a build it. Um, this is actually not a book, but sort of like a mini. There's like a mini story, and then uh, sort of like a build it yourself. Um, Ralph. A uh, Ralph, not Ralph. Um, Big Hero Six. What's the name? Baymax. So you can actually build a uh, Baymax made out of paper. So you just have to follow a guide and assemble this. We haven't um done this one yet. And then he also has um, this one, Lego. So it actually came with a, a Lego, a Lego penguin toy, but it's already on in his toy box. So it's like a game. So you have to like, there's like maps, traces, and mini co comics or story. What else? Oh, uh, so he also has his favorite Power Rangers. He actually got two Power Rangers. This one, this is the Power Ranger Ninja Steel. So this is like a card game. It has different cards. So it's already not arranged, but it has like cards and stuff. Other card games inside. There's actually a game guide, but Nathan doesn't follow it. He makes up his own rules when we play this one. But this one's really fun. I think we got this for like 300 plus. And then this one is a poster book um, from Power Rangers Mega Force. So it also has stickers. And you know, the Nathan doesn't know them. <laughs> so we actually tried to search them on YouTube just so Nathan will know. But he knows, you know red ranger blue ranger you know like the basic stuff for power rangers and then he also has this ninja turtle sticker book it has a 3d mask 
and also this one when you wear the when you wear the 3d mask or the 3d glasses you know the it, this will these will pop out so what else did he get oh he got this peter pan collection he actually likes peter pan recently because they had this like movie um they had this movie day or movie time what do you call that? A ah, film showing. They had they had like film showing in school. So when we got to the Big Bad Wolf, say I found the this one and he really liked it. He also likes it when I tell the story of Peter Pan during bedtime. And he also got this Journey to the Moon. This is a pop-up book. This is really nice. See? It pops out. It's really nice. This one, he, he actually got this from school. This one, he got from Landers, I think. So, these are not from the Big Bad Wolves. Yeah. He got actually um, a pirate playbook. This actually had like a mini um, pirate book and also pirate costume. So, I will show you here his photo with his pirate costume. So, it actually came from two... He actually had this treasure chest also with a pirate costume. So it has vest, an eye patch. It also has like a hook. Yeah. And he also had two more toys that's no longer here. I think it's in his toy box. It's like a fishing game. Um... You will see it on the link below where I'm going to show you all the books that we bought together with its prices. And also like a doctor's kit, um, which he also really likes to play. So I think that's just it for Mason's haul also. And I think that's it. We really enjoyed the Big Bad Wolf sale. Um, they're now... Um, they're now at Davao. They're also having a book sale there. So if you're from Davao or if you're from, you know, um, around that area, make sure you visit it. There are really great deals. And there's also another sale going on. It's like the binge book sale by National Bookstore. I also want to try that out. Hopefully, I could still catch it um, with a very busy sked. But I'm really hoping I could still drop by there. There at SM City Cebu. So, I think that's it. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye!